there's some major differences uh, on the campus physically, but then academically and just overall historically. Um, this school has really grown since I went here back in the 60s. I came as a sophomore in the fall of 67 and uh, we had basically three buildings, the 100, the 200, and the 300. 400 was kind of there, but you got to remember this place was the Benita High School campus that was condemned and left to just sit out in the sun and until 18 Sacred Heart Fathers came over from Ireland and they were get commissioned to start this school. I think I was the seventh graduating class. You know, it, it, I coached a lot, over 30 years I coached uh, football, soccer, and golf. And before any contest started, I kind of almost thought we were cheating because we were able to take a knee and pray. And that makes us wait. I had colleagues in uh, every sport I coached and uh, from all over the state that talked about how they were a little bit envious of, you know, of our brotherhood, like I, I was saying. Uh, but that comes from being able to to just join together and pray. And that, that really makes us stand on that. First question. In your opinion, what is one thing that makes the Indian stand out from other schools? I think um, for me, what makes us stand out from the rest um, isn't necessarily our academics, which are phenomenal. Um, it's it's the faith tradition that we bring to the to the guys that come here, uh, and and our willingness to accept them no matter where they're from, whether they're Christian, Muslim, Jewish, um, we still incorporate a faith life into everything that we do. And I think that's what really sets us apart. Okay, so again, talking about faith, um, how strong do you think student faith is here at Damien, and how do you think the students demonstrate that? I have what I call God moments uh, when I'm, I'm watching people interact with one another and I try to find God present. And, and I would say 90% of my God moments happen watching you guys interact with one another. Uh, just how you treat one another um, with respect, with dignity. Um, <clears throat> sometimes we're, we're rough with each other, but, but in the end, you know, we reconcile. So I, I would say faith life here is pretty strong, um, but not, it's not glaring. I mean, it's, it's not like, like we, we're not screaming about it. We do, we're doers of the word, not just hearers of the word. So um, you organize the retreats here at Damien, right? So how do you think the school retreats benefit the students here? I think, um, you know, we, we talk about we talk about um, God in the classroom, but we don't really get a chance to go apart all that often to really ask, well, how am I living out what I what I've been taught, what I believe, and that's what the retreats do. Um, ultimately, what we're trying to do is we're trying to marry all three: um, the the academics in the classroom, the retreats that you go on, and then the service learning that you do out in the community. And hopefully all three of them uh, come together in a really nice way. Uh, anything else you'd like to add? I think, you know, if I could leave you with one thought, is that um, everything that we do ultimately comes out of our relationship with God. Um, and, and no matter what we think we should be, God loves us just the way we are. Um, and I've seen it here at Damien. Um, some of the, the bad guys, some of the most generous guys, um, some of the ones who uh, who struggle end up having a phenomenal faith life. Um, so, so I think if if I could leave you with one thing, um, it would be to, to really try hard to find God present in all things in your life. And when you do that, I think ultimately you're going to find that God's right by your side. 